to my channel. I'm Reed and this is Reed's PD Trip and we are going to do the November BoxyCharm unboxing and I get the base and the premium boxes so we do both of them and then I also try it on for first impressions which ones put together a full face. So we're going to get right into it. <laughs> so we're going to start with the base box which I think most everybody has seen. Oops, let me put this up. <laughs> Has seen that it has some really fun and exciting things that were in it this time. I know I got in, which everybody got in the box, so 25% off Natasha Denona. This theme this month is Harvest. I did get box 40, which I think um, a friend of mine also got box 40, so I'm excited to see this. So, I think everybody did get the Natasha Denona palette in it. So, and I know um, some people were like, well, the packaging's plain, but this is one that Natasha Denona put together for BoxyCharm. So I just don't think they put that extra, the packaging to make it more cost effective for the, um, for the, for the cost of the BoxyCharm. So, but this is a $50, or $48 palette. So a lot of people were thinking it was going to be the, like a $25 palette, which is like this size, but it is the $48 palette. So for this alone, the base box is so worth it. And this is peak, if you haven't known it already. So it's got some beautiful soft, it's like a soft coral fall look that you can do with it. So it's four mattes and one shimmer. So these are colors that are in two other palettes of Natasha Denona's. I think it's at least two of them. Because it's Aya, Jasper, Thorn, Amara, and Shine. And I think they are from... I can't remember which two palettes it's from. But it is from two other various palettes. And they put it together. So, it is nice. It's Like I said, it's a $48 palette. So going into a $28 subscription box, there you go right there. <laughs> And then next we have the Bodyography Eye Pencil 2-Pack. And this is in, this is Bodyography. So, and these 2-Pack, they run $16. And it is a boxy exclusive also. If I can get the other one out, of course, it's... It's like, come here! Uh, oops, then the lid came. Of course the lid gets stuck in the box. I think I got these, though, in another... I'll have to look. So we got Black Walnut and Onyx. So two black liners. So that is like a brown black, the black walnut, and then the onyx is a true black. And then we got a lip oil from INT. I thought it was INY, but it's INT Cosmetics Lip Oil. Um, this one is a flush of color, so it's got a little bit of red oil to it. Oils have been really hot and very popular um, this season. Well, for this year, since with wearing masks and everything, so they've really kind of stuck. <laughs> the cats are sassing. <laughs> um, so okay, this one goes for $11, and so you can add it onto a matte lipstick and so forth. But like I said, lip oils, it's the hot thing right now. <laughs> it's one of the few things we can wear on a girl girl. <laughs> The next one we have is Jouer, and it is the Lip Enhancer. So it's almost, they're describing it basically kind of lip hands, basically it's a, a lip treatment, so it's a lip balm. So it's a nice little tube lip balm and stuff. So two lip products, 
for lip care, dry, wearing mask, and, the, and we're going into winter, so your lips are a little drier than normal anyway. And that goes for $17. And the last one is the Helios by Earth Harbor. Now this one's fascinating. I did see this by someone. Anti-pollution youth ampule named after a powerful Greek deity of the sun, Helios. Hello. Anti-pollution anti-pollution youth ampule is an almighty ambrosia bearing with ultra reparative plant stem cells and fountain of youth preserving red algae Axtotolla. Restore antioxidants, balance pH, and smooth fine line and wrinkles. So it's an anti aging one. It goes for $48 normally. <laughs> so, so far, I mean, this box definitely cleared $100 and stuff like that. But I love that the, the bottle is like that. It's very cute. So. Only one skincare. Well, the lip balm, two skincares, I guess. So the base box is really good, and I think a lot of people really are excited about this base box. So Boxy Charm, thank you for partnering with Natasha Denona in the base box. Now we're going into the premium box, which I know does not have a card in it. So we're gonna play by ear. Okay. Oh no, mine does. So I have box two in the premium box. A lot of my friends said they didn't get a um, description for theirs. So that's kind of interesting. So first we got the pure four-in-one. Check out the reflection here. <laughs> four-in-one skin perfecting powders. That was sitting on the top. Um, it's a stunning mix of bronzer, highlighter, blush, and translucent setting powder. Arranged in a travel-friendly palette. Goes for $32. <sighs> Breaking nails, breaking nails. Mm. And this was a partner with, oh, Fair and Light is the, <laughs> so they did actually, you know, match up my color scheme and stuff like that. I do like the impressions, the imprints and all that on that. So it's a very nice little palette. And like they said, it's great for travel and stuff. So definitely, yay. Mm. The blue foam that comes in the premium boxes. Oh. Next we have, ooh, a dose of color. I was excited. Oh. I just get excited. Let's just say that. Dose of colors, it's a single eyeshadow. And um, I like a lot of their stuff. So, Block Party Single Eyeshadow. And it goes for $20 by itself. nice packaging oh my goodness this one is I need space it is a very very sparkly black <sighs> which <laughs> that is harder for me to use <laughs> so that will be interesting <laughs> friend got the brown one. I'm so bummed. <laughs> but I can play with the black. Okay. We got some dark looks going on here, people. Dark looks. <laughs> okay. Next is the Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. You know how I am about night cream. <laughs> Slow and rarely use it. So, let us see here. Grown Alchemist. I'm still using a facial scrub from Grown Alchemist, and I think I've had it in my shower for a year. Um, this advanced detoxifying night cream is formulated <laughs> with a complex blend of peptides, which is always good, action vitamins, hyaluronic acid, and essential omega fatty acids. So it goes for $125. So this alone in the box. Hello. 
Um, they detox and regenerate the skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So mixing that with the Helios is probably going to be a really good skincare um, regime. So yeah, it's almost like a paint tube. It reminds me of oil paints Ugh. type of tubes. And like I said, the scrub is it's that it's a giant blue tube. Next we have the Real Her Lip Liner Duo. So we've got lip liners and we got eyeliners. Talk about a combination here. So the Real Her um, Line Your Lips with Ease. This creamy formulation is infused with jojoba, seed oil, and shea butter, which the shea butter, yes, that's good, especially with wrinkles and stuff. Choose between our deep nude and true red while preventing your favorite lipstick matte or moisturizing from bleeding or feathering. If you work on the lines around your lips, they don't feather or bleed. <sighs> so with the fine line stuff, if you're using it around your lips, it shouldn't do that. But with red lipstick, it, it is harder to do that with that. So I'm always big about a uh, lip liner with red lipstick, which is hard to wear right now. <sighs> so since it smears all over your face when you wear certain things that obstruct your lips. Uh, that came out a little bit better. Okay, so here is the nude one. And they are the twist up versus sharpening like the eyeliners were. And that is a really dark, like it's almost like a redwood nude. And then this is the red one. I don't think they gave actual names. And that is a deeper red too. So beautiful fall nude and red colors on that one. Then we got a, a brush set from Cosmetics. Put those there. And this is skincare brush set, which I when I saw this with a, another one. One of my friends, I was really excited to try this. I've not really tried brushes with skincare, so um, these go for $25 for the set of two, which is not a bad, um, to me, a not not a bad price. And it's a new launch. Take cleansing to a whole new level with this embossed brush designed for gentle exfoliation and effective clean pore cleansing. Plus, bring the spa experience home with a dual-sided silicone spatula that effortlessly and evenly distributes product across your face. <laughs> oh, it's got a little scrubby to, to it. <sighs> I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. So the spatula, so you can smear it on like that's the smooth side, and then there's the, which you know, really get that in. It's kind of like a Foreo, <laughs> and then. This one is for the exfoliating, and that's just to really stimulate your pores and stuff. So that has a lot of potential also to it. So, ooh, skincare brushes. That is something I've not really invested in before, so an interesting concept. And the last thing in the box is my Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder, and this one is in shade one because I'm a very, very pasty person. Uh, so it is a weightless setting powder featuring a built-in powderizer that grinds the finest freshest powder to set makeup, mattify, shine, and blur skin. One twist grinds pressed powder into a light that diffusing micro powder creating just enough for a smooth even layer with less mess and this retails for $39. Smashbox has been really quiet lately so it's nice to see that they're getting back out with some products because they have they've been all I can think of is like it does look up like a photo lens stuff like which is what they really like it's got like the lens millimeter looks like camera how do we I'm trying to twist it off like a camera lens. It doesn't. <laughs> so for fresh powder, you would twist this. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I always like when they give you something new and interesting. 
So it's a grind and go. For some people out there, I'm sure they're like, ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get fresh powder with every twist. <laughs> so yeah, that is a neat concept. So I assume the grinder goes down <laughs> as you twist it. <laughs> so yeah, a really cool concept if I can twist it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, left. See? And I barely twisted, twisted it from there to there. And that's how much came out. So that's really... I'm fascinated with this one. <laughs> we have some interesting things to try out with this stuff. So that's the unboxing part. I'm going to set up and get ready. And I'll be right back. Okay, my foundation is on, my concealer is on. We are gonna open this Smashbox thing again. I already did a little grind. <laughs> See how this looks. I like this one better. My little Kabuki brush versus my giant powder brush. If you know me, I love this brush. I have two of them. This is my number seven one. Surprise! Okay, so there's that. Then we're going to go in with the pure. Let's see how that applies the translucent. bronzer oh yeah I do like this is one of my big powder brushes I love doing a nice broader contour with nice and soft. Then we're going to go in with the blush. And like I said, I love that they did different imprints on these and stuff. And usually I do creams with powders, but testing this stuff, I usually do it without it so there's no bias with the layering and stuff when you do it. Definitely, yeah. Buff it out just a little. Then we're going to go in with the highlighter. My fan brushes. very soft um, glow. Let me use a little more concentrated fan brush. Hold on. Or one of my little floral ones from Eco Tools. Just to concentrate that highlight just a little bit more. Usually I like it right there. And to keep it though. So yeah. It's good and soft. It's not like the, I call it the runway lights and all that from the airport. Like some that love it that way. <laughs> but it's a good stuff like that. So let's put on this lip enhancer. I call it lip balm. <laughs> Just get a little bit on there. It 
does have a floral, like a rose type scent to it. So if you're scent sensitive, you're not gonna like this lip enhancer. Definitely no. Because my lips are rosy without the color. Let's just whip on an eye base real quick. Cause guess what we're gonna play with? Oh. I did not do my eyebrows, but that's fine. Oh. Someone asked me the other day, it's like, what annoys you with, that you get in your subscription boxes? I think one of them would be mascara <sighs> and stuff. <sighs> I think that's the one that drives me insane. So we are, and we're going to start with <sighs> Aya. We're gonna build it up and so we're gonna start with Amhara. Put that in the crease and then build it up with Jasper. is going to pop. Hmm. And then we're going to go in with Jasper now. Hmm. Just to add a little bit more. Ooh, look at that color. Hmm. in shine my inner crease and bring it in I do have a few of these um, my daughter's got me a few and then I got one and I do like them. I don't buy the larger palettes as much as I do these. <laughs> then I'm dropping lashes. <laughs> then I'm gonna put a little bit in the brown that's in the center, which is Thorn. I'm going to shade it just a little bit in there. because we still have that dose of colors one. Mm. So yeah, just a little. So we've played with all of the shadows out of that. 
I'm gonna be. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to run it a little, thorn a little under my eye. to play with that little bit of this I need space from Desert Colors. I'm going to add that little bit on top. The Natasha definitely went on a little bit smoother than the Dose of Colors. It is a darker shadow though. So more with that. Then let's go in with that black walnut. This is definitely not a nice gel. It's a rougher one. Not as crazy about this one. Definitely play with this under your waterline, not on your waterline. And there is that. Let's turn it up top. Yeah. And then let's do the nude lip liner and we're just going to fill that in with it. Now these are the twist. Let's pop a lipstick on and see how it does with that. I've got a nude that I've been wearing. Lip liners I know are not a lot of people's favorites. So it just depends how you are with lip liners. Um, I am going to skip the, the lip oil right now. I need to put my brows on, <laughs> but let's just put on a little bit of mascara. We're going with classic. We're going with great lash. One of the original, I think actually great lash is the original mascara. It was made out of soot and charcoal and uh, the gentleman that created Maybelline it was based he named it after his sister Mabel and they were like little soot pots that you brushed on with your lashes so this is my boxy charm box look with them. Um, I'm really excited about all the products. No, I didn't try any of the skincare. 
because I already have skincare in a project. <laughs> I'm like, but I am excited. I think most people can say this was a wonderful, exciting thing to have in your box. And I do, like I said, I like the little face palette that came in it. I guess it's not little and such. So really fun products, really fun things to enjoy and really add to your collection and and feel good about what you've put in your collection, what this is put in your collection right now. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please comment below if you have any thoughts, and I will talk to you later.